Good morning and welcome to the Board of Commissioners meeting for November 11th, 2014, Veterans Day here in the United States. Before we call our meeting officially to order, we'd like to present the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. Today's invocation will be presented by Reverend Richard Burdick from the Unity North Atlanta Church on Stanley Plains Road. That will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to be presented by Firefighter Alan Aswidge who has been with the Cobb County Fire Department since 2010 and is assigned to Station 88 Shift. For those that wish to do so, please rise for the invocation and the pledge. Good morning, everyone. Today I celebrate the young men and women who have served our country and afforded us the opportunity to come here and gather in prayer. Let us exercise that freedom and that right by bowing our heads. Infinite spirit of love and life, we enter this day with thanksgiving for the many blessings that await us. We thank you for another 24 hours to express, to experience the vast miracle that is life, and to cultivate within ourselves the eyes, the ears, and the hearts that bear witness to how blessed we are. We bring to this meeting a consciousness that your presence, God, is the source of all that transpires here. We are grateful for your wisdom that guides this dialogue, for your power that motivates every transaction, and your love that surrounds each and every one of us here today. May our hearts and our minds be ever awake to the countless blessings that are before us, around us, and within us. Most of all today, we thank you for the lives of the courageous men and women who have protected our freedom to gather and to recognize those blessings. This we pray in the name of all that is holy, sacred, beautiful, and true. Amen, amen. Together, amen. amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Reverend Firefighter Aswidge. Glad you're here. So it takes us, as we call the meeting to order, to tab one, presentations, there are three. The first is to present a check to Safe Kids Cobb County as a result of the 11th Annual Public Safety Golf Who's here from there? There we are. Hi. Good morning. I'd like to thank um, the commissioners and the county manager for their support in the 11th annual Cobb, Cobb Classic. Um, we were able to raise $63,250 to benefit safe kids. Um, we'd like to thank everyone who participated and volunteered for the event. And Lisa Crossman was co-chair. Unfortunately, Director Heaton was, a, was not able to be here today. Um, Lisa Crossman is the Deputy Director of Cobb Douglas Health. Thank you so much. So I think it's very fitting on this day where we're honoring those people who have served our country and helped us stay safe every single day that we're also honoring our Safe Kids group. Um, I'm so thankful that Director Heaton uh, is willing to serve as co-chair for this event and has done so for um, several years now. This event does two things. First of all, it's a major fundraiser for Safe Kids every year, and it enables them to buy equipment and uh, provide education to our families, and you'll hear a little bit more about their mission in just a minute. The second thing it allows us to do is to honor our police, fire, EMS, and safety workers who work every single day to keep our children safe here in Cobb County. And so this is an important event, and we thank the commission and um, David Hankerson for helping us to provide this event, and it does raise just so much money, and I'm so appreciative of all of our sponsors. Uh, we have five major sponsors every year that work with us, Glock, Coca-Cola, Wellstar, Diversified Electronics, and Motorola. They make this event possible, along with all of our other sponsors who um, host teams and who give silent auction items and have whole sponsorships to make the event um, raise as much money as possible for safe kids. So now I'll turn it over to Lisa, Cro uh, Lisa Crossman, that's me, sorry, Lisa Grisham. We have a lot of Lisas and safe kids. Um, uh, to Lisa Grisham to talk to you a little bit about the mission of safe kids. Thank you. 
Uh, we are so excited with the amount of money we raised this year. It was an incredible partnership. As it has been for over 20 years, we've had a partnership with public safety. Um, so we, what we will do with that money is we use that to educate parents on injury prevention. We also will utilize that money to buy safety equipment, such as car seats, uh, bike helmets, uh, smoke detectors, and those go to families in need in our community. Um, our biggest um, thing that we like to do is to educate parents, though, because with education comes the knowledge of how to keep the children safe in Cobb County. So we look forward to the partnership in the future, and um, hopefully we'll make even more money next year. <coughs> Thank you. So one more thing, if we do have uh, other folks who want to sponsor this event, it is held on Columbus Day every year, so you can contact uh, Director Heaton or myself to um, join us for next year, next Columbus Day. Thanks so much. Chief Tanks, I just want to make sure that you understand that I want to publicly apologize to Donnell, who was on our team. He, he shot an eagle in every single hole, and we held him back. So just spread the good word. We appreciate him being on our team. Thank you. Commissioner Ott, item two, please. All right, this is not something you get to do very often. Um, Jack, do you want to come up? Um, we're here today to celebrate a company's 100th anniversary. But to kind of uh, put out the whole event in perspective, Today is Veterans Day, which celebrates the signing of the armistice on the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour. Um, the Knox Company was founded when World War I began in 1914. So they were founded and we're celebrating the 100th anniversary this year, and it's still owned and operated by the original Knox family. They provide custom metalwork, architectural metalwork, such as HVAC, sheet metal specialists, their customers have included Grady Hospital, Georgia Tech, and Woodruff Art Center, just to name a few. Starting with only six employees in a building on Marietta Street in Atlanta, which we're now happy to say they occupy 55,000 square feet in Smyrna, here in Cobb County, and they employ more than 200 people. As a testament to the exceptional work environment at RF Knox, the average employee has been with the company for 14 years. Several employees retired after 50 years, and many others after 25 years of service. So the Board of Commissioners would like to congratulate the Knox family and the employees of RS Knox on its 100th anniversary. We salute the contributions the company has made to our community and wish them continued success. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about the company? Sure. Well, as you just mentioned, we did celebrate um, our 100th anniversary this year, and the last 40 years have been in Cobb County. And uh, there's no other place that we'd rather be than right here. We've had an opportunity to actually relocate um, right before the crash in 2006. Thank goodness we didn't go anywhere. And we wanted to stay in Cobb County. If we had to move, we would have stayed here. Great place to do business. Great employees. They're the reason that we've been around for 100 years. It's nothing that I've done or my dad or great grandfather. It's, it's about the people that we have. And so we're very fortunate. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Item three is to recognize the Pope High School Lady Greyhounds softball team on their first state title in Pope's fast pitch history. Commissioner. Good morning, everyone. Could I have the Lady Greyhounds and the coaches and Mr. Banks up here? Um, today I have the honor and pleasure of recognizing the Lady Greyhounds, Pope High School's lady softball team for being state champs. And this may take a while because we've got lots of lovely ladies here to, <laughs> and men. <laughs> um, but before I do that, I'd like to recognize Mr. Mr. David Banks, the school board representative for Pope High School. Thank you for being here today, David. And uh, we also have Josh Matthews, our athletic director at Pope. Chris Turco, the head softball coach. 
Jennifer Miller. Is that right? Our assistant coach is Mike Nelson here. You're Al. Al Savransky, assistant coach. And then all these wonderful ladies who had a 32 and 8 record. Um, they finished second in the region tournament and first in the regular season. And then, of course, they won the state championship. They broke a lot of records. Um, Kelly Barnhill set a Georgia State record with over 500 strikeouts this year. Where's Kelly? <laughs> Step out front, Kelly. Congratulations. I'm going to pass the mic around and let them tell you a little bit about their um, championship and their record this year. And by the way, this is the first state championship for soft, lady softball at Pope. So y'all are just a record-breaking group. I will, yes, ma'am. Um, first of all, I'd just like to, before I pass the mic to uh, Coach Turco and our coaches, I'd just like to uh, say what a great year it was for uh, Cobb County softball. We were fortunate enough to bring home the state title, but uh, we had to beat a couple really good Cobb County teams on, in the process. Hillgrove finished second, and then uh, Laster was third. So it was a great year for Cobb County softball, not just uh, the Pope Greyhounds. Uh, now I'm going to let Coach Turco and the girls talk a little bit. Uh, b before I speak on the team's accomplishments, we want to say hey, thank you to all the veterans out there in the armed forces. Without you doing what you do, we couldn't play the game that we love. So thank you to all the veterans here on Veterans Day. Uh, as I get into the season, yes, these ladies were 32-8, and eight, unbelievable season. Um, for Pope High School or Cobb County in general, this is the first state championship in softball we've been able to bring home in the last seven years. So Lasser High School last won it in 2007, so we've been fortunate enough to bring the title back to Cobb. This particular team has done something that hasn't been done in Cobb County in 10 years. This team finished uh, in the top four in the state for the last three years. We came in second in 2012, fourth in 2013, and this year we were able to bring the title home. So no other Cobb County high school has done that in the last uh, 10 years. So that's an impressive accomplishment by these ladies. Um, all credit goes to them, 32-8. and eight. That is an unbelievable record. And 8-0 and oh in the playoffs. They had uh, Actually, they were not behind in any innings in the playoffs this year. They were ahead in, in all innings of the playoffs. So. I uh, also want to say, as note, Coach Miller is an alumni of the program, so this is actually a special uh, uh, occurrence for her as well. So she played for Coach Saransky and I, and now uh, as a coach in the program. So um, congratulations to all the ladies. I'm Lauren Pallas, and I'm a senior. Um, I'm Kaylin Doherty, and I'm a freshman. I'm Leah Higginbotham, and I'm a freshman. I'm Sydney Higginbotham, and I'm a junior. I'm Hannah Rogers, and I'm a freshman. I'm Tamaya Turner, and I'm a senior. I'm Shauna Finister, and I'm a senior. I'm Leah McFadden, and I'm a freshman. I'm Samantha Crabtree, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Kelly Barnhill, and I'm a senior. I'm Lindsay Bunkwitz, and I'm a junior. I'm Quentin Stateson, and I'm a junior. I'm Madeline Dobkin, and I'm a junior. I'm Megan Metzinger, and I'm a senior. I'm Devin Smith, and I'm a senior. I'm Kira Williamson, and I am a junior. And I would just like to conclude by uh, thanking our coaches. We have a wonderful staff uh, of, of coaches who really put in a lot of time and effort. Um, and uh, definitely deserve this honor and recognition. And uh, thanks to the commissioners for recognizing us today. Congratulations, girls. We're very proud of you, and keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> so, Kelly, where are you going to school? I also have certificates for the Pardon coaches. Pardon me? Florida. There you go. Good luck to you. Thank you.
Thank you. Josh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Yes, sure. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Good work. Thank you. Congratulations. Absolutely. Good luck. Congratulations. Congratulations. Is Hozak here this morning? Hozak, Kelly's going to your school, University of Florida. <laughs> Great job, guys. Have two. We're going to have one on them. And conduct a fourth public hearing regarding the Six Flags Area Special Services District. Mr. Johnson, good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, uh, Commissioners, County Manager. My name is Dana Johnson uh, with Community Development, and uh, we are here to conduct the fourth public hearing um, to solicit comments and input on the proposed resolution and code creating the Six Flags Special Services District. The code is section chapter 114 of the official code of Cobb County. The purpose of this is to uh, for the provision of local government services and facilities within a predefined area of the Six Flags community. Um, the two public hearings are on October 20. The, the two most current public hearings were on October 22nd, 28th, excuse me, and today, November the 11th. That meets our requirements for code as it relates to public hearings before a decision can be made by the board of commissioners. Um, and on October 14th, the Board of Commissioners approved a resolution supporting the context behind what is presented in front of you today. So with that, sir, we'll ask you to please conduct a fourth public hearing um, and then consider the agenda item in front of you today, sir. Thank you. We'd like to open a public hearing for this item, the Six Flags Area Special District. If anyone wishes to speak for or against, please come forward. Each speaker has three minutes. Counselor? Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Ed Richardson. I'm the chairman of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority, and I'm here this morning to speak in favor of the Six Flags Special District. Uh, since the district was first mentioned months ago, we've continued uh, to receive uh, expressions of broad-based community support from the Six Flags area, um, including some of the larger property owners in that area, including Six Flags Over Georgia, uh, Yancey Brothers, and also uh, Civitas Partners, H.J. Russell Partnership, uh, which recently invested over $20 million purchasing apartments. Um, I would like to acknowledge uh, Derek Barker, uh, one of the general partners with Civitas, H.J. Russell, uh, who also wanted to be in attendance to show his uh, support for this district. Um, we still believe this is the right tool and the right time to reinvest in the Six Flags community, and would certainly encourage you to vote yes and approve this district. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other speakers? Seeing and hearing none, the public hearing is closed. At this time, I believe, Dana, you would in entertain a motion to consider adopting the resolution and, that, and the amendments, correct? That is correct, sir, and staff would certainly support adoption of, of this particular item. Thank you. Commissioner Cupid, to lead our conversation, please. Thank you, Chairman. This district has been before us since the beginning of this year when the idea was first contemplated. And I am very pleased with the level of support and energy from several stakeholders, inclusive of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority, first and foremost, our legal staff, several business leaders and property owners who have met twice and shared their support community development staff, and certainly um, the Board of Commissioners for your willingness to hear this over and over again and to be willing to help move the Six Flags area forward. Here we have a significant tool that will provide us opportunity to finally reinvest in an area that we've known for a long time has needed some help to, um, to move forward. and. This is our opportunity to do that, and I hope to have all of your support today. So with that, I'd like to make a motion that we adopt the proposed amendments to create the Six Flags Area Special Services District. Sir. And adopt the resolution. And the resolution. Yes. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I'll second that motion. We've been working hard 
uh, to come up with some kind of method to be able to help the folks help themselves in this district. So uh, I support wholeheartedly this, this endeavor. Is there any other comments? We have a motion and a second. Comments? Mr. Ott. Yeah, um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just, I have concerns about, um, I, I understand that South Cobb needs, um, needs some help in, in moving in the direction they'd like. I just, I have concerns about um, creation of special taxing districts around the county. Also, um, I have concerns about exactly how the money is going to be used. Um, I know that there is a bond that wants to be uh, floated. So I just, I have a lot of concerns. Any other comments? I have some. Commissioner. Um, please clarify that this is adoption of the resolution. If there's a bond issue, that would be come back in another item. Excellent question, Commissioner. Um, what is in front of you today is the creation of the district itself. If there is anything in regard to a bond or anything like that, that would need to come forward and a separate item to the Board of Commissioners for consideration. So the only thing in front of you today is the creation of the district. Thank you. Um, and with that, I would like to make a few comments, if sure. I may. Um, I have met several times with members of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. I've toured the area with staff and Captain Adcock, the precinct uh, commander for that area. Um, and I do support forming the Six Flag Service District. I think it's definitely needed down there um, and will help boost that area and as well as um, support public safety down there. Um, but I do feel that it should be self-sustaining, but I do support forming the district. Thank you. Commissioner. And I have uh, just one other comment that those uh, that will be taxed in that district are the businesses that exist that no residential properties will be uh, incurring a tax upon them. So this is a voluntary effort primarily by the businesses that are located in that area to improve that area. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think it's a lot of work has been put on, like the commissioner, Cupid, a lot of work has been put into this, a lot of people. And I think it's a catalyst, it's important, to, uh, you know, it's, you know, these are different times, and we mentioned that many, many times ago, that we're in a new day and a new era and a new environment, and we need to look at things differently, how we get things done. And this is a perfect example where staff and the community came together again in a private-public partnership to try to help make things happen. And I think this is a wave of future as opposed to just a, an example of a one-time shot. So we need to understand that public-private partnerships are here to stay and are going to be a part of this community for some time to go. Commissioner Cupid, I applaud you for continuing to keep this going at full speed because I think it's something that's important. Any other comments? Call a question. Motion carries 4-1 with Commissioner Ott in opposition. Thank you so much to everyone involved. That takes us to tab three, our public comment period. We have no speakers. Tab four, consent. Commissioners, this morning I had an extensive phone conversation with one of our mayors as it relates to item one to approve the Cobb County water system schedule rates, changes, uh, charges, and fees. Uh, the mayor, specifically Alaga, has asked us to pull this for two weeks for his converse, to have some conversation with him as to how this affects his residents. I'm in agreement with that. So I'd like to pull item one for consideration in two weeks as we discuss that item. The other item we want to pull is item number seven, the authorize the advertisement of four and conduct a public hearing to secure potential consultant services for program management uh, as it relates to the county streetlight program. Now, Mr. County Manager, in an attempt to bring clarity to this issue, I'm gonna ask that you drive this for the next two weeks and that we bring back an agenda item that the board is in concert with, not necessarily unanimously, but that most of us are in concert with it. So how we need to treat, we need to deal with this rate issue. We need to deal with the costs associated with this and we need to deal with it in two weeks so we have enough time to implement whatever action we take. So uh, I'd like for you to take the lead, walk the talk, excuse me, I won't use that term anymore. I'd like for you to gather input from each of the commissioners at their convenience and have an item ready back for our consideration in two weeks that all of us have had the opportunity to review prior to it going to print, if you would. Mr. County Manager, any comments? No, sir, I consider it done. 
Thank you. Any comments from the board? So we'll pull that on as well. With that, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the uh, consent agenda as, as revised and authorize the execution of the necessary documents by the appropriate county personnel. Is there a second? Second. second. Any comments? Call the question. That motion carries 5-0. Appreciate your support with the consent agenda. That will take us to tab five, transportation. <coughs> Director DeMassimo, seven <laughs> items, please. Mr. Chairman, County Commissioners, and County Manager, our first item is to approve a contract with Vertical Earth Inc. for roadway safety and operational improvements on the Walker Drive extension. This is an approved project in the roadway safety and operational improvements component of the 2011 SPLOST. The project consists of extending Walker Drive on Church Street and creating a town square near the entrance to the Mableton Elementary School. We request that the Board of Commissioners approve a contract with Vertical Earth Inc. in an amount not to exceed $1,904,999.46 for roadway safety and operational improvements on Walker Drive Extension. Thank you, Commissioner Cupid. Motion to approve. Second. Call the question. Motion carries 5-0. Item 2, please. To approve project number E4190-TO number 03 to the 2014 Master Task Order contract with URS Corporation for engineering design of Interstate North Parkway and Interstate North Circle realignment. The department recommends approval of a task order to provide a concept to improve the operations of the Interstate North Parkway and Interstate North Circle intersection. This includes realigning the intersection to change the through movement on Interstate North Parkway to Interstate North Circle. The pedestrian circulation along Interstate North Parkway to Windy Ridge Parkway will also be studied. We request the Board of Commissioners approve project number E4190-TO number 03 to the 2014 Master Task Order contract with URS Corporation in an amount not to exceed $37,258 for engineering design of Interstate North Parkway at Interstate North Circle realignment. Commissioner Hunt, motion to approve. Second. Call the question. Motion carries 5-0. Item three, please. To approve change order number one final to the contract with Tidwell Construction Company for construction of Stout Parkway Bridge over Gothards Creek. This is an approved project in the bridge rehabilitation replacement component of the 2011 SPLOS Transportation Improvement Program. We request the Board of Commissioners approve change order number one final to the contract with Tidwell Construction Company with a savings to the project in the amount of $64,506.47 for construction of Stout Parkway Bridge over Gothards Creek. Commissioner Cupid. Yes, motion to approve. Second. Call the question. Oops. Motion carries 5-0. Item 4, please. To approve change order number one final with DNH Construction Company, Inc. for drainage system repairs on Wood Glen Lane. This is an approved component in the 2011 SPLICE Transportation Improvements Program. We request the Board of Commissioners approve change order number one final to the contract with DNH Construction Company with a savings to the project in the amount of $6,075.80 for drainage system repairs on Wood Glen Lane. Thank you. Commissioner Ott. Motion to approve. Second. Any comments? Call the question. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you. Item 5, please. To approve change order number one final to the contract with Omshift Construction for improvements on Ewing Road sidewalk. This is an approved school-related safe routes to school project in the sidewalks component of the 2011 SPLOST Transportation Improvements Program. The Board of Commissioners, we request that the Board of Commissioners approve change order number one final to the contract with Omshift Construction with a savings to the project in the amount of $925.90 for improvements on Ewing Road sidewalk. Commissioner Cupid. So moved. Second. Any comments? Call the question. The motion carries 5-0. Item six, please. We request that you rescind approval of a contract with American Contractors Grading and Paving Inc. and approve a contract with the second low bidder, DNH Construction Company, for drainage system repairs on Brett Circle. This is an approved project in the drainage component of the 2011 SPLOS Transportation Improvements Program. On August 26, 2014, the board approved a contract with American Contractors Grading and Paving. However, the contractor could not meet the insurance requirements of the contract. Therefore, the department recommends rescinding the contract award to American Contractors Grading and Paving and awarding the contract to the second lowest bidder, DNH Construction Company. We request that the Board of Commissioners rescind approval of a contract with American Contractors Grading and Paving in the amount of $56,355.02, approve a contract with the second low bidder, DNH Construction Company, in an amount not to exceed $58,522.50. For drainage system repairs on Brett Circle. 
Commissioner Gorham. So moved. Call the question. Motion carries 5 0. <coughs> Item 7, please. To rescind approval of a contract with American Contractors Grading and Paving Inc. and approve a contract with the second low bidder, Baldwin Paving Company, for intersection improvements on Cooper Lake Road at King Springs Road. Cooper Lake Road is an approved project in the intersection safety and operational improvements component of the 2011 SPLOS Transportation Improvements Program. On September 23, 2014, the Board of Commissioners approved a contract with American Contractors Grading and Paving Inc. However, the contractor could not meet the insurance requirements of the contract. Therefore, the Department recommends rescinding the contract award to American Contractors Grading and Paving Inc. and awarding the contract to the second low bidder, Baldwin Paving Company. Commissioner Ott. Motion to approve. Second. Call the question. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you, Director. Tab 6, Public Services Agency, three items. Mr. Cannon, good morning. Good morning, Chairman, Commissioners, and County Manager. This morning we have three items. The first item is for the Board of Commissioners to approve a final closeout supplement agreement and change order number one to the contract with Arc Atlantic Incorporated, Archimetric Design and Construction Incorporated, a joint venture reducing the contract amount by $5,000 for a revised total contract of an amount of $646,000 for the construction services re related to the replacement of the Harrison Tennis Center building under the 2011 Park SPLOS program. Ask that you authorize the corresponding budget transactions and further authorize the chairman to execute the necessary documents. Thank you. Commissioner Burrell. Motion to approve. Second. Any comments? Call the question. The motion carries 1-0. Item 2, please. Second item is for the Board of Commissioners to approve a contract with Universal Construction Company of Georgia Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $2,088,976.47 for the construction services related to the utility infrastructure and paving improvements at Jim Miller Park. This comes under the 2011 Park Splash Program. <coughs> Ask that you authorize the corresponding budget transaction and further authorize the chairman to execute the necessary documents. Okay. I announced the, the vote on the last item is 1 0. It's 5 0. Okay. Um, Commissioner Cupid. Motion to approve. Second. Any comments? Call the question. Motion carries 5 0. Item 3, please. Final item is for the Board of Commissioners to approve a final closeout supplement agreement and change order number one to the contract with Sports Turf Company, reducing the contract by $9,718.38 for the revised total contract amount of $111,740.62 for the construction services related to the rehabilitation of athletic field number two at Oregon Park. This comes under the 2011 Park Splash Program. I ask that you authorize the corresponding budget transactions and further authorize the chairman to execute the necessary documents. Thank you. Commissioner Gorham. Motion to approve. Sorry. Any comments? Call the question. The motion carries 5-0. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. <coughs> Tab 7, Support Services Agency. One item. Hey, John. Morning, Chairman, <coughs> Commissioners, and County Manager. We have one item, and it is for the 2011 SPLOS to replace air conditioning equipment at the former Community Development Satellite Office. We received three quotes, and the department recommends that the Board of Commissioners approve a contract with Shriver Mechanical Inc. in the amount of $15,598 for the installation of HVAC equipment for the 2011 SPLOS project at 920 15, Lost 15. Mountain Road. Authorize the purchase of an anti-theft cage from AC <coughs> Cage Man in the amount of $750. Authorize the corresponding budget transactions and further authorize the chairman to execute the necessary documents. Okay, John, our agenda item says the cost is $10,598 from Sh Shriver Mechanical. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, correct. I, I thought I heard something else. So, okay, Commissioner Cupid. Yes, yeah, just a clarifying question. What's the current use of that facility? It's used for storage at this time. Okay, yes. Motion to approve. Second. Any comments? Call the question. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you, John. Thank you. Our second public comment takes us to tab 9, our commissioner's public address. Commissioner Ott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have one item. Um, uh, just remind folks in District 2 that if you do not currently receive the Friday update or the COB line, to go to the county webpage and my webpage and uh, put your email address in there because, uh, in particularly, 
for the Windy Hill Road project. Um, that's going to be a great way to get updates on the construction since uh, Windy Hill is going to be uh, worked on from Powers Ferry all the way to 41. Commissioner? Yes. Um, a pro it was a week ago. The 2016 SPLOST was approved. And I would like to thank the employees for all the work that they did to not only assist the board with putting together our project list, but also educating and informing the public. We had numerous uh, public information hearings, which were very important. And now that we're a week post vote, we have a lot of post mortem uh, discussions going on in the media, um, in emails, on blogs. Uh, those who were against this SPLOST are looking for excuses on why it failed. And I think it's extremely important that we recognize and congratulate the electorate of Cobb County and give them credit for making a well-informed decision and also a willingness to invest in Cobb County and in their quality of life in the future. Um, unfortunately, the electorate in this process is somewhat overlooked by those who are either against or for the SPLOST. And it's time that we um, recognize them and fully understand that it was an educated decision and a decision that they made voluntarily and knowing what the outcome would be. So congratulations, electorate, and congratulations, Cobb County, as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Cupid. Yes, thank you, Chairman. First, I'd like to thank our veterans once again today that um, there's a lot of things that I have the opportunity enjoy, to enjoy because of your sacrifices made. And I um, just want to share my appreciation for all that you've done. I also want to thank the board um, for your support in the special services district in the Six Flags area. That is a significant boost to that community which has um, had a lot of opportunity to um, flourish over time, but just needed some additional support to do that. And while we have some investment from the district, I'm very pleased to share that there has been a lot of investment already from the private sector in that community. The chairman and I were recently at a groundbreaking in that area, which is um, slated to bring 300 jobs by 2017. We have FedEx, which has um, moved to the, or which will be moving to the area, projected to bring 1,500 jobs. The Epicenter, a $30 million investment, as was shared with Civitas and their investment in the apartment community, $30 million of investment. Um, Yancey's continued participation in our community, been there for over 100 years. Um, there's a lot of investment and a lot of momentum in that area. And I think the um, decision we made today supports the direction that that community is headed in. And for living there for 12 years, I sincerely thank you as a resident, not only as a commissioner. Um, want to share with the public that there will be a benefit for TAP Middle School, which will be held Saturday, November 15th at 7.30 p.m. at the Landmark Diner in Buckhead. Would encourage you to attend. Um, that fundraiser is to help support that school's foundation. Also on Thursday, November 20th, there will be opportunity for the community to learn about what's going on in historic Mableton. And that will be held from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the South Cobb Community Center off of Lions Club Drive. Hope that you have the opportunity to attend. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Burrell. Thank you. Um, I, too, first would like to say Happy Veterans Day and thank all of our veterans, those that have served fearlessly and faithfully to defend our freedoms. Uh, may God continue to bless them all, protect them and their families and our troops that are currently in harm's way. Um, and also a thank you to all that exercised their right to vote last Tuesday, con and congratulations to all those that were victorious. Uh, this tonight from 5 to 7, you can learn more about the second phase of the South Barrett Reliever at a public information open house. Um, the project consists of constructing a multi-lane roundabout at the intersection of Barrett Lakes Boulevard and Shiloh Valley Drive. The DOT open house will be held at Brunswick 
Zone XL775 Cobb Place Boulevard in Kennesaw. And for more information, you can visit the CobbCounty.org DOT website. Uh, tomorrow, there will be a community celebration at the Town Center CID office um, in celebration of the Town Center Area LCI Master Plan process and you can share your input on the draft plan. It will occur tomorrow from four to six at the Town Center CID office, 245 Town Park Drive, Suite 440 in Kennesaw. And if you want more information, you can visit their website, www.tcacid.com. This Saturday, Keep Cobb Beautiful is celebrating America Recycles Day from nine to one there will be two locations um, that you can recycle and a lot of other things uh, that will be available, electronic recycling, paint um, recycling. And you can visit the website, keepcobbeautiful.org. And the two locations are Jim Miller Park and Sewell Park. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I want to make a uh, want to congratulate Mr. Hankerson, who is going to be an honoree this Saturday for the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, and uh, a number of us are going to be there to help celebrate with you on that recognition. So, congratulations to you on that. Um, you, the, the, the accolades for you just continue to roll in, and we appreciate your being choosing Cobb that we uh, part of your your workforce. So, thank you so much. Um, I can't express uh, how important it is in last Tuesday's election, the confidence that, as Commissioner Gorham indicated, the electorate had uh, in, in, in the government, I think, in terms of being able to deliver what it says it's going to do. Uh, they, it was overwhelmingly supported to continue the the special purpose local option sales tax for another six years at the conclusion of the current SPLOS, which ends at the end of next calendar year. For folks to make that kind of commitment to the community and to the, the areas in which they live, work, play, and get a great education, knowing that it's an important component to what makes Cobb great and keeps the quality of life where it is and keeping costs down and delivering first and class services and, and beyond you know, the recognitions we get year after year from so many different departments, it's important. A lot of people were promoting vigorously and a lot of people were uh, on the other side of the fence promoting that we, we not extend this loss. Clearly in my mind, I'm very, very appreciative of the folks that took the time to get educated on what was in the list. This is a fundamentally the best way to do any kind of spending is that you have a specific list that's put out to the community for a specific vote with a specific deadline. And I appreciate the fact, as Commissioner Gorham said, that folks took the time to find out what was on the list, evaluate its commitment and evaluate its contribution to the success. But there's a, folks, a couple of folks that we need to be very, very grateful for in that regard. Folks will vote to extend a self-tax if they have confidence in stuff going on to date. And it's to the citizens or to the, it is to the workforce of Cobb County government and the many, many, many vendors that we've uh, secured over the course of the years, but mostly the, the, the employees of Cobb County that have managed the, the existing SPLOS so well and the oversight committee that has been led by Alice Summerall to ensure and give confidence to the community that they can actually uh, have confidence that we're going to deliver on what we say we're going to do and it's to the citizens or it's to the employees of Cobb County I want to say thank you very much Mr. Hankerson your team is again just delivered beyond expectation and not to mention the cooperations with all six cities uh, in that continued delivery so we appreciate that that commitment to that by our employees and we can appreciate the commitment by the cities cities to help us get that done um some of you i know have been seeing some construction going on along i-75 the last couple of weeks because my email has been blown up and my phone's been blown up 
what you're seeing there is the beginning of the Georgia Express lanes for the Northwest Corridor begin to come out of the ground. Um, as such, you'll see that for the next three years. Um, I encourage everyone to go to Northwest Corridor at dot.gov and get signed up for uh, the newsletters that they send out giving us updates on what's going on with that project. That is a project by Georgia Department of Transportation. It's a project that's going to help significantly some of the traffic transportation issues in Cobb County. We look forward to it coming online in 2018. But there will be, um, I gave you the wrong address, there will be a lot of information, a lot of congestion, a lot of stuff going on. But go to www.511ga.org for more information on that project and be kept up to date to what's going on. With that, I believe we have concluded our meeting with the county manager. Anything further? Then we are adjourned. Mr. Chairman, thank you. No. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. We are not We adjourned. want to mention the sister city. Oh, gosh. Thank you. It was right here in front of me. Um, this Sunday, we have a delegation from Sundangu arriving uh, from Korea to visit with us for three or four days to talk about strengthening our relationship and friendship <laughs> concerning um, education and, and economic development specifically um, and also they're going to be taking care taking part of the veterans uh, luncheon is occurring on monday um, the koreans are very very appreciative of the military that served in the korean war uh, to help save that country and they're very very appreciative of the veterans both pro and con in fact one of the uh, events will be to place some wreaths at the memorial next Tuesday, prior to our zoning mirroring meeting, we are going to have a ceremonial signing of an MOU, just uh, giving a basic um, understanding that we're working together to, to strengthen our sister city relationship, and we'll be doing that about 8.30 uh, next Tuesday morning prior to the zoning meeting. They will sit in for about 15 minutes of the zoning meeting, uh, and then move on to their other events scheduled for the day. Mr. County Manager, I believe I've covered that correctly. Tuesday before the commission meeting here Tuesday in this room before the before our zoning commission any other comments from the board we are adjourned thank you